Hello, this is Civil Digital and welcome to the Stat Pro V8 I Fundamental Tutorial Series. Today we will be dealing with the post processing mode in Stat Pro. I would be using the same file that we had used earlier for analyzing the model in the last tutorial. Uh, if you haven't uh, seen the last tutorial for mod model loading and anal analysis, go through the playlist or you can go through the channel also to learn the different aspects of model loading and analysis. I had named the file as tutorial 3 and I would be using the same one. First let me check the load definition that I had used. I had used five different load cases of which three I had uh, three were dead live and wind load and two were the auto load combination using the inbuilt option in the load and definition dialog box in stat pro we would use or uh, view our model uh, this, uh, using this live combination in which 10 kN per meter live load is uh, imparted on the top beam of the structure this beam 6 so uh, simply you have to go uh, and run the analysis we get three options view output file post processing mode and stay in modeling mode view output file uh, if you choose that it is a document in which the detail of the structure the loads and everything is given here like the joint coordinates the density the the material density and poison ratio etc are given then we have all the loadings etc this these are the forces and the results so basically this is uh, the full uh, it's not the full report but it's a summary of your structure and the results so I would close that because you should not deal with it unless you have a great deal of experience in stat pro stay uh, up till now we have always been stayed in the modeling mode to view the the forces and the deflection so this time as the the title of this tutorial is post processing mode we would go in the post processing mode the first dialog box are the load cases which are available uh, basically this is uh, a normal selection box which is used by different softwares it is it is i guess many of you would have uh, viewed this kind of selection box uh, if you want to deselect any combination or any load case you have to just click and click the back button or the remove button whatever you want you want to call this and click on it so these are all the available cases which are still not um, being used in the post processing mode like I said I would use the live live uh, load case detail and I would also include the dead case dead load case sorry, and click apply then ok so uh, post processing mode can be useful when you have a big structure and you want to see the summary and different forces and stresses in all the beams basically first of all you get this dialog box node displacement like, uh, we have the usual arrangement of uh, tabs and sub tabs like the modeling mode first you have the node then the displacement sub tab here you have the summary summary you would have the maximum and the minimum values like reactions and forces given in this dialog box basically first of all you, uh, you can skip this sub tab displacement and come to reactions this is basically the important one of the most important uh, sub tabs you, here you can get the reactions on all the supports here sometimes it's a little tricky uh, it's a bug in stat pro that the boxes which have the summary sometimes goes under the status bar and you cannot you cannot uh, see 
the full information given here basically but uh, right now we have mx my and mz in pre in uh, this tab also and you can see the reactions here in the y direction 15 and y direction 15 because i guess we had taken 30 uh, 30 kilonewton because 10 kilonewton per meter was the force intensity and 3 meter is the width of the beam the the length of the beam sorry so this is the reaction sub tab next we would get beams the sub tab is force and we here we can get the summary again minimum fx minimum fy and you would get the beam number which would be having the min like beam number 12 has minimum fy in the load condition wind load and uh, the, in the the quantity or the magnitude would be given here fy minus 30.559 similarly you can see um, maximum mz maximum my and every little detail and every maximum and minimum values in this in this dialog box then comes the beam details first you would deal with the beam one then the different load cases then uh, like you can get information at different distances from the start or from the starting node like at the distance one from the starting node of this beam beam one we, we have fx is 27.48 uh, and so on like you can get different results beam 2 we have the three load combinations as we had selected earlier then beam 3 and so on you can see I guess we had 15 or 16 beams yes 15 and the three load cases and the different distances and the values here then comes the stresses stresses is basically uh, you can view first of all you can view the uh, cross section the 3d diagram of the cross section and let me zoom in this is basically the top beam on which the load is given if you uh, if you have the basic knowledge of structure dynamics or structure analysis you would be knowing that if loading is from the top of a of a, of a beam you would be having tension on the bottom and compression on the top you can s easily see that like uh, right now the red color denotes compression and blue color denotes uh, tension you, you can uh, change the color also if you right click on the structure window this is the structure window this is the 3d beam stress window and this is the section of the beam uh, we'll de deal with this window later on so right now I would change I would go to labels load and results and then stresses I would change uh, compression to let's say green and tension to uh, white mm, or maybe black and click apply here you can see that compression was green tension was black let me change it back to the original colors because compression red tension blue and hit apply again select the beam and you have the same colors here is the 3d beam and what if um, like right now we have selected the beam as a circular uh, full rigid concrete uh, concrete cylindrical uh, structures but what if we had selected we had uh, given the specification as a tube or a hollow tube or a channel and you want to view the stresses inside uh, on the inner surfaces of of this beam then uh, if that's the case then this right hand side window comes into the play 
if you select the distance if you drag the slider you can see this box or a plane a section which is also moving according to the distance and accordingly this diagram changes so basically if you want to view the center of this beam 1.5 then this section the section right now which is uh, which this yellow plane is cutting is shown on the right hand side window this red area is denoted um, on the top as the direction you can see y direction is uh, in the vertical direction and here the y direction is the vertical direction so you can see this red area is red and if you move on to the left side you will see the inversion of the stresses blue on top and red on bottom you can directly write also the exact distance if you want and you can get the stresses likewise if you select different beam zoom out a little bit I guess we have selected the live load and this beam was in tension like if you select this beam uh, beam 5 it is swaying towards it is bending like it is bending uh, we can see we can use this this uh, deflection uh, menu and I would hold control and use the mouse button to change uh, change the scale of deflection I guess you can now see the bending of this beam so clearly on the outer side we have tension and on the inner side we have compression so the same is shown in this diagram and you can again slide the plane and see the result on the right hand side window likewise you can see uh, the graphical details of every beam uh, in the next sub tab graphs like in the top beam on which load is given we have the bending moment bending moment as expected and we have the the different uh, shear forces and axial forces next would be the animations animation we have two different two different uh, options deflection and flexural displacement and you can select the target FPS like FPS means the frames fra frames per second of this movie or a short clip that would be made right now if after we select apply so I would select deflection and hit apply due to the live load the the building is being compressed in the y direction uh -huh. if you see the video in uh, high definition or high quality you may be able to see the full details of this compression I would click again the animation button and choose a little less FPS target FPS and click OK oh, I didn't choose the deflection one and hit apply and click OK now we have a slower animation because we chose a, a less value for frames per second this way you can animate the you can animate the structure to see the displacement next would be the report these this is the full report you can get uh, uh, in Star pro like you can select the information about nodes, section, materials, supports, then the load combinations, etc. Now you would have the full detail uh, if I can. If you can see that we have 12 number nodes, number of elements is 15, highest node is 12, and the coordinates of the nodes, the load cases and the combinations you can print it and zoom out zoom in the normal 
the normal options in a PDF so basically this is the post processing mode and you can uh, you can use this mode after the analysis to uh, thoroughly view your structure and see whether your structure is failing or where, where you have the maximum movement throughout the structure otherwise you would have to uh, either use trial and error method and select every beam and uh, write down the maximum bending movement in every beam then uh, check which has the maximum or minimum bending moment and shear force so this is a short method uh, you can see the internals uh, not internal but the sectional stresses because right now in fundamentals tutorial we had used the simple circular beams and everything but if you make the complex structure and use hollow members or channel members or built up sections then you would be dealing with um, like you should know what are the stresses on the inner side of the structure or on the inner side of the channel so you can view the 3d diagrams and the 3d contours this can be helpful then the animation like we had discussed so that's it this was the post processing mode of stat pro vati and for more tips and tricks stay tuned and on our channel and see you next time thank you